Hello guys, Zafana here. Today I would like to speak about SaaS marketing. Uh, so before I start about SaaS market, uh, start speaking about SaaS marketing, let me tell you what uh, SaaS is all about. SaaS stands for Software as a Service, and uh, it's a very it's a very common word now, and people are you know it's a very blooming industry now, and it's it has been expected in 2023 uh, the worth would be about 623 billion US dollars. So if you're on it, you're on the on the track and you should go but if you create because if you create the product does not mean that you can get the sales done you need the marketing part to really well ask how the product is important the marketing is equally important uh, to reach you the reach that to the people so let me give you a few tips I've been working on a product called browser bird for, for a while and now I got a, uh, I got a few you know a kind of experience so I can share you uh, about that browser bird is simply an automation tool uh, I can check that out but uh, let me give a few examples for you to get uh, what, SaaS ma- what SaaS products are. For example, Slack is a SaaS product, Buffer is a SaaS product, Buffer is a common thing that everyone knows that we uh, schedule posts and also Slack, you know, we normally use it for messaging and, uh, you know, every, every uh, the, when we work, we normally have the Slack and then uh, we have HubSpot, you know, it's very common. So different uh, products use different strategies but let me tell you a few common things that you can use you have to find uh, websites like Basumo where they where, where they you know launch this kind of SaaS products and they give you a boost and now what you can do is you can give an offer or you can give a lifetime uh, or any kind of offer that you know that people might go for the try for the first first time and once you give them you know people try it and if it's good really you know you will have the audience or the users uh, so you have to do that you have to launch a product on websites where they help you to launch at the first place number two you have to work with your SEO SEO is a must you know uh, you, you might have common common uh, words like you know uh, on your product if it's a marketing product it's a mar- marketing automation and you know these kind of words uh, related to your product you have to bring the, those words and you have to work on the SEO and you have to bring a product to the top in your Google search. So you can do that by, you know, uh, you can write a lot of blogs with the keywords and the backlinks. And also you can go to Quora, Reddit, and then you can find the questions related to your product and answer them with a valuable, uh, like, you know, if it's a question with a problem, you give them the answer. And then with that, you can tell them to check out your product. Just don't give you the, give the link and tell them to come and visit you. People don't like advertisements. People don't like ads. You know, don't make it an ad make it and value help people so you'll get the uh, return back so you can work on that and uh, number three i could like say is reach out reach out you can reach out in linkedin you can reach out in facebook you can reach out uh, in other platforms too but i would recommend linkedin and facebook uh, so if you create your social media pages very well you should have uh, you know before i say the about social media you should reach out uh, not directly telling that that's, that there's a product like this, come and visit me. No, not like that. Just, you know, you have to be friendly with them and give them value and why should this, how would this help you, you know, uh, make your life easy or make your work easy. You have to give that uh, interaction and then you have to reach the product out. Not just, you know, don't make an advertisement again. People don't like advertisement again. I, I already mentioned that, but I just want to tell you because that's so important. A lot of marketers make that mistake. Uh, you, you know, uh, like, you know, uh, I want to tell the experience I have. I, that doesn't mean that I'm a great expert or you know not like that. Uh, I'm telling you what uh, what I felt. You know what people felt from the other side. So the mistakes I made. So you have to be correct on that and mention their first name when you reach out to them. So you can do that. You can find Facebook groups and find uh, the problems related to your industry. If it's marketing, if it's you know uh, whatever, you can go there and help them and then again put your link there. So these things, these things you can do. And number four, I would like to say, your social media should be very active. You should be very, very, very productive. You should give you give them a lot of quality content. How to use the product? What can it change? Uh, what what things can uh, happen after you use this app? How things can make uh, make how, how how the product can make things easier for you for you? So you should mention these things and you should have a good uh, you know a kind of content in your social media page and should be very very active and do promotions on that and reach out from that. Uh, so these are the few things I would like to share and I, I hope you know it might help you 
and i wish you all the best on your saas product and in the saas marketing uh, and all the best i would like to come with another video uh, all the best until then